All right, this video is uh, for my son Dylan, who said, hey dad, your YouTube video about changing the igniter, um, the kerosene heater, didn't show anybody how to get to the park. So I'm taking the advice of an 11 year old and trying to satisfy an 11 year old's curiosity by saying, Dylan, this video is for you. So we're gonna try and figure it out together. So the name of this kerosene heater is a Dynaclo WK95C8B. And I'm gonna quickly uh, do my best to show you just how long it takes to get to the igniter. So the first thing you wanna do is take the handle out. And the handle is what's called keyed. So it's got a key that goes in like this. Right there, and that kind of pulls out. You got to force it around a little, and the other side comes out as well on a key. All right. Second, we're going to need a screwdriver. All right. So over here, there's two screws screw here that takes the top of this off. One. And two. Remember that. I'm talking to myself. No one else but myself. This is kind of interesting here if you take a look. All right. This comes up and over here, out. So I recommend taking the bottom out first, up is around, and then you just kind of lift this up. Same thing for the other side. Out, up, out and up. This top, at least on mine, was never bolted in. So it just kind of sits like that. The most important thing to remember is where these go in relation to that keyed top because they're going to need to go back into those holes to hold it on. Now, there are there's a big screw right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a big screw. Take that big screw out. It's actually very satisfying to take that out. See that? And then there's another one over here. allows this top to come off. Inside this top is this part, loose, I don't know what it's called. Just remember, it kind of floats in here, see? Floats in there, boom, out. And Dylan, my 11-year-old son, almost, this part is loose as well. We'll put this back together, but that, Part is keyed towards where the igniter is. My son loves this part. So I'm just gonna put that there. Here is your igniter. You see that? Now I did a video for probably just myself, but it shows that I had a pain in the ass time putting this in and getting that to stay in. So I did a separate video about how to get that in basically to satisfy my son's curiosity. And he said, Dad, you didn't show anybody how to get to it. So there's the igniter. What's cool about this is, here comes the wick. That igniter touches the wick. This one's battery powered, and boom. It's burning a lot of black smoke right now, because why? Because this whole chimney mechanism is not in place. But that, is how you get to your igniter.